That's right. This is just the latest of multiple construction projects in the series of Salt Lake City's 2018 Funding Our Future bonds in action over the past couple of years. And it's causing a controversy here in Sugar House. Orange cones and yellow dump trucks line 2100 South and its connecting streets in Sugar House. Uh, it's horrible. Uh, every time I try to come to Chick-fil-A, I have to park a few blocks down and walk because I can't turn out of the parking lot. The beeping and revving sounds are no stranger to those who live in the area. One of the final projects in a series over the years just got added to the mix. And it's a big one. 2100 South Project is a transformative project where we focus on not only roadway reconstruction, but also addressing all needs of uh, uh, travel for transit, uh, vehicles, pedestrians, and bicyclists. City engineer Mark Stevens says some of the roads will be narrowed down to fewer lanes with a center median and restricted left turns as part of an effort to prevent crashes. And what that will accomplish is reducing the number of serious accidents that occur from these left-hand turn lanes and limiting them to where uh, we can better provide and more safely provide those turning movements. The process of construction to get the smoother roads has been painful for local business owners like Bob Campbell, who says adding another project to the mix isn't going to help the congestion. Oh, it's been a disaster from day one. You know, not just me, but all our businesses. In fact, there's 10 businesses that have already gone out of business or they've moved from this. He says he and others in the Sugar House Business Alliance are suing the city over the newest 2100 South project. They plan to put a medium up here that you can't even make left-hand turns into businesses. You know, they're reducing or restricting the roads with the, the lanes here. Anytime you put the word restriction in roads, it's never good for business. Residents like Max Bartow are uncertain about what the new streets in the heart of Sugar House will bring to the area. Uh, yeah, that would be nice, um, but it's still uh, loud and uh, annoying with all of the cones and stuff. So um, I don't know if it's worth it, but we'll see. Steven says they are trying to phase the project strategically to help with traffic, but it will be congested and tough driving here for the next couple of years until the project is expected to wrap up in 2025. And he adds that they need to do this now, the construction now, before the funds for the project expire. Live in Sugar House, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.